update. I haven't done a, I haven't done anything in a while. I'm uh, up in Virginia now. I came from the Keys up to Virginia. I've been hanging out here for like uh, since May, and uh, I ordered a electric XB 2.0 bicycle. It's been like 10 weeks now, and I still don't have the damn thing. Uh, I've been calling the company. I paid for $159 for Expedite Fish uh, to expedite uh, the delivery. Don't do that when they ask you. It's not worth it. All they do is give you a shipping label. and I, That's been two weeks since I did that. I still haven't got anything. So that's definitely not worth it. And... Uh, yeah, I've been having some other today a FedEx package was supposed to come for me and I sat there and waited for it at the office uh, at the marina office and uh, the guy put on the memo that uh, there was nobody at the office to get it and me and the guy who works office was there the whole time so I guess they didn't want to deliver it to me today so I uh, got some other stuff so I guess I'll get it tomorrow but anyway so I'm up in Norfolk, I'm waiting. I got a friend and we're getting his boat together so we can go to the Bahamas this year. And I figured I would do a uh, review on the Wally now that I've had it for a while. That's the Wally 310. I got that out of uh, Fort Lauderdale, Ford, Florida. It's a giant, uh, uh, it's a giant plastic uh, formed dinghy, molded dinghy. I'll give you a picture of it here. And there she is, okay. So let's pull her up here. I got a uh, nine, nine point nine on it. Hold on. I have a nine point nine on it. So it's uh, that's the biggest engine that was uh, suggested by the manufacturer. Uh, I had the porta boat, but the problem was is uh, they were suggesting a two point four, and I put a. Uh, six on it you know so more power but uh yeah that pretty much ruined that so let me get this up here so i ended up blowing the transom out on it twice and i almost lost my engine my six horse engine uh yeah so i, I almost lost my six horse engine twice so I decided I'd had enough of the porta boat. And uh, last time it blew a gasket was down in the. Uh, now where were we? Oh, we were down at uh, in Florida at the Dry Tortugas. That's right. We were in the Dry Tortugas trying to get back, and the thing was just falling apart. I had to go real slow so it wouldn't fall completely in the water. And I almost lost my engine, so I decided uh, when I got back, I would uh, do away with it and get something that's going to last me a while. So, hence, I got the Wally 310, which you can see is uh, it's it's 10 foot five. It's a little bit less uh, length than the old one. I got a. Yamaha 9.9 .9 and put on it because that was the largest they suggested. Uh, there were some sites, at the, uh, not the manufacturer, the manufacturer said 9.9, .9, but the other site said 15. Don't put a 15 on it, it's 9.9. .9. Uh, they're, they're just trying to get you to buy the boat with a bigger engine, so that doesn't work out. Uh, I, I, didn't really modify it much. I did put the uh, cushions on it, the bumpers from the uh, porta boat on it because this is a hard plastic thingy and when it hits the boat, it makes a horrendous noise. Uh, right now it's a little dirty, but that's okay. Um, it, okay, what are the pluses to this thing? One of the huge pluses is, is this thing has four cup holders. Uh, the minus with the cup holder, as you can see, uh, you might not be able to see, but there's all kinds of water. There's, there's no way for the water to get out. It does have a compartment here, which you can see I throw my anchor in there, extra line, 
old dog leash, some extra shoes, because I seem to be able to go to shore all the time and forget my shoes. The locker has a hole right here to drain. Uh, uh, I implemented my uh, uh, fish ruler over there. I did put this in because I saw people who were uh, who were saying that they were pumping theirs out or whatever. Uh, so I put a access hole. So it's pretty good. There's actually foam starting right about here and goes forward, which I did not know. So that keeps the uh, seat stiffer, and it also keeps up. You can see it's there's nothing in there, but it does make a good deal. So you can uh, you know you can throw your flares or radio in there. Something that'll stay dry. You can put a little dry bag in there or not. I just attach my uh, life jackets on the end so you know when they come up they see them right away. I put a little board here so that the gas tank won't fly board. I collect weights when I see them at the thing. I, you know this is a standard big ass uh, fuel tank. I got a couple of them so I fill one and then I use one. Uh, one of the big deals is, as you can tell, it's it's really stable. Uh, you know, the cup holders are great. The size of it's great. It has the same configurations as a uh, regular dinghy, uh, where you would have the uh, sides come up here with the floats, but this doesn't have the floats. It has seats, as you can see right there. The seat is built in to what would look normally like a side float, and it's very wide. It does weigh. It does weigh 200. And, let me turn around here. It does weigh 232 pounds, so it is quite heavy. And with the engine on there, it's quite heavy. Now I I pull the engine off when I go and drag it. If I'm in a spot where I can drag it, I know I'm not going to get in trouble. And I'll drag it a little bit. It, it drags okay. You got to have lots of line out with it. It doesn't have a three harness system on it. It's just got one so it does, you gotta watch it, it does tend to wiggle back and forth if you don't watch it. Uh, you can put, probably put a couple of, you know, hooks up there and, and uh, drag it with three, but I don't drag it that often. If I go out in the ocean, I turn it out and put it on the deck. Uh, as far as putting it on the deck, it's a lot harder putting it on the deck and getting it back on. I use a halyard and pull it up after I turn the mo take the motor off and pull it up. And I have to flip it over on the deck and point it toward the mast and so that I can get it on. But that's because I have a small boat. And this is a this is a pretty big dinghy. It's pretty wide. It's very substantial, unlike the porta boat. Once I got a couple people in it, it kind of was iffy. Uh, you know, you couldn't go out if the uh, water was was a little bit rough. This thing's a uh, flipping lifeboat, I'm telling you. It's, it's just like having a lifeboat, complete with foam-filled seats underneath it. And it's a double-layer plastic. You know, they put a big, they put a big tube in, then they put it in the in the mold and mold it. So it's got it's got a about a I don't know quarter inch, half inch layer on both sides. It's it's pretty thick. So it's very durable. I'm liking it so far. Uh, one of the drawbacks is, is this transom. Now that's one of the reasons why I put a 9.9 .9 on here. I wish they had not, it, it did not come with all the screws on the little plastic thing, so I had to provide those for the engine mounts. And the back one, there's one on the back too. And I'm really disappointed with this engine mount. I think they should have dragged it all the way across and they put it, should have put it in a little more solid. As you can see, it's only got two screws in the middle instead of on the outside, which I guess I could do that too, you know, put those on. But uh, this, see, it, it seems to be a little bit weak. I don't like that. I don't, I don't think that's a, a sufficient mount. Uh, they could have done that a little bit better. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, the way the front end is, it, it, underneath here it kind of balls up on the side instead of slopes so it pushes the water out to the side. So when you're kind of going in a, a specific direction like all boats, it seems to splash a little bit more. Uh, as far as putting stickers on it, I actually, you can see there's two signs on here. 
I actually went to Lowe's and got to fire. They were some kind of fire extinguisher or something, stickers on the inside here and I just flipped them over and put stickers on them and screwed them in, screwed them straight in to the, uh, into the plastic and uh, that seemed to work pretty good. So, you know, overall I'm really happy with the Wally. It's a little bit slower than, uh, than the six horse was on the port a boat but uh, it is a whole lot more stable I mean you can fish out of this the floor doesn't flex like the port a boat this thing is very solid I you know it uh, to me it's a little bit ugly but it makes up it makes up in usability and utility for being ugly because I've had friends come on and get a ride in it and you know I got four or five friends in here and they were really happy with uh, the performance of the boat one of the other things that's on here is I had to put uh, one of the fins, you'll notice the big fin on the back of the motor. I had to put that on there because uh, the boat really just rocks. As soon as you start going, the bow just goes right up in the air. I mean, the bow's already pretty far up in the air when you start. When the bow goes right up in the air, something ridiculous. So you really have to compensate with uh, that fin thing. So you're going to need one of those regardless. I, I, you know, I've never seen anybody else. I've seen other people with them and they put the fin on there too. And they said they had the same problem. And of course once you get it loaded down with hundreds of pounds of shit, it's, it's slower like all boats. But uh, the thing is, is it has a big weight capacity and I'm telling you, this is a grocery getter, my friends. So when you go to the store get your you know a whole month's worth of grocery or the next six months worth of grocery or you go and get tons of fuel i mean there is there is just an enormous amount of room in here all the way back you can as you can see there's just an enormous amount of room and i mean that that foot right there is a 13 inch foot so i wear it you know 13th so as you can see it's it's pretty tall. I mean, I don't even come for the top of the deal. So there, this is a big cavity in here for fuel and groceries and people and bicycles and all that stuff. I port my bicycles and my dog and, and uh, port my bicycle dog. We go to shore every day that we can and uh, take a walk and uh, look around and hang out and, you know, whatever we want to do, you know. It's not like we have an agenda. Let me check my calendar. Oh, nothing on it. So, all right. Well, that's the, that's the uh, you know, the Wally 310 review. I I think it was worth the money. Uh, it, I think it was thirty two hundred dollars, and then I had to pay shipping. But you know, they were nice enough to work out a shipping deal. I I called them on Thursday afternoon, and Friday morning. Uh, he got somebody to deliver it to me Friday morning and by Friday at 12 I was riding out with a motor on the boat and riding away so worked out pretty good for me because at the time my other boat had just fallen apart so I needed this and I gave the porta boat away to some kids who were crabbing and they came by. Um, I asked their parents if they wanted a porta boat, and I signed the whole thing over to them. Of course, I kept the motor, but I signed the boat over to them. So I don't know what they did with it, but I told them they needed to fix it and blah blah blah. But it didn't matter to me; it was theirs at that point. You know, whatever they do is their problem. But anyway, also uh, I wanted to put a shout out to Captain Lexi of uh, Wild Child. She started a new channel. Uh, go to go to. Uh, you're watching Captain Lexi, watch her channel and uh, go watch her last. Uh, she put it up, I think the title was the last uh, episode, and she'll show you where to go. I, I can't remember exact. I think it's Wild Captain Lexi. I think that was the name of it. If you look up the channel, you can find her, and that's where her new channel is. She's already got a few episodes, so you know, go support our fellow sailors. Uh, you know. I think she's sailing alone now. Uh, I think she, uh, 
or crew left and uh, I know what it's like I, I, I personally I hate taking on crew it's a nightmare and uh, but you know and I solo sail everywhere but uh, this year looks like uh, you know barring the COVID Delta variant uh, going to the Bahamas finally so last year we didn't we went to the dry Tortugas and uh, you know Susie enjoys everything we do but she has a dog but uh, you know we're gonna go down in October we're gonna spend some time in St. Augustine as always and uh, we're gonna spend a month there I'm gonna go visit with family over Thanksgiving and then we're gonna head down to probably Miami, the Key of Biscay, and uh, sit there and stage and uh, do supplies and be sure everything's up and be sure we got you know enough liquor and food and, and whatnot and whatever else we do. And uh, then we're gonna boogie across and we're gonna do our 48 mile day sail, day sail across to the Bahamas and check in at Bimini and uh, the plan is that uh, we're gonna go to the Exumas you know we're gonna visit all the <laughs> normal goofy spot we gotta go to Norman's to see the drug smuggler stuff and the planes and Stanley and the pigs and the lizards and you know whatever else we do and uh, I'm hoping not to come back in, until June if I come back to the States, which is the plan at the moment, but plans have a chance to uh, change frequently between now and 10 minutes from now. So, uh, you know, might head somewhere else. I don't know. Depends on what I do, who I meet, uh, where we go, what, you know, all kinds of things. There's a lot of factors. What's going on with the COVID, you know, all that nonsense. So, probably can't say COVID on the YouTube, I'll probably be banned, but I'm not monetized, so I don't really care what they're gonna do. I'm not demonetized, so it's not monetized. So, y'all take it easy. I'll see you next time. Enjoy.